This is Frank Fortunato from Cadex TV. Today is Friday, August 12, 2011. Insurance Insider is reporting that 100 staff at Brit, 13.5% of the company's workforce, is going to be let go as they are going to outsource their back office. This is after the purchase by the private equity group. The Wall Street Journal is reporting today that Transatlantic Holdings is planning on sending a confidentiality agreement to Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway's National Indemnity to see whether or not Berkshire wants to start talks about its offer for Transatlantic. The Financial Times is reporting that the Chinese investment fund uh, Safeco, I believe it is, the State Administration of Foreign Exchange has just purchased a 3% stake in Munich Re. Warren Buffett owns a 10% stake in Munich Re. And in the European Union, four countries have banned the uh, selling of short selling of insurance stocks. France, Italy, Spain, and Belgium have banned short selling of shares in banking and insurance stocks following recent stock market volatility. Just yesterday, for example, AXA in Paris went down 10%. The insurers have been subjected to the same roller coaster as have the banks. In the United Kingdom, the government of David Cameron is considering cutting off social networks and messaging services such as Twitter and Blackberry during the upcoming riots. This is, I guess, planning to have more riots. The controversial plans coming after the riots have spread throughout Britain. According to Cameron, when people are using social media for violence, we need to stop them. We're working with the police, intelligence services, and industry to determine whether it would be right to stop people from communicating on those websites. UK police have also posted photos from the riots on Flickr, another move that drew criticism from human rights campaigners. Cameron said no phony human rights concerns about publishing photographs will get in the way of bringing those criminals to justice. In the United States, retail sales rose a seasonally adjusted half of 1% last month. Uh, economists surveyed by MarketWatch had expected sales to increase about three-tenths of 1%. Meanwhile, sales for June and May were revised higher. Over the past three months, retail sales have climbed 8.2% compared to the same period one year ago. Meanwhile, in Syria, it's another Friday. That means the mosques have let out, and already massive violence is ongoing. The government of uh, Assad uh, is shooting more and more bullets into the groups of protesters who are demanding freedom. The President of the United States is expected to announce over the weekend that uh, President Assad will have to step down. That's all the news that we have for today. If we have any other breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. In the meantime, have a good weekend and thank you for watching.